Hi everyone! In this video we will learn how to upload images to a tkinter canvas. tkinter is a Python binding to the TK GUI toolkit. The tkinter program allows programmers to create windows with widgets in them. First I am going to look in the directory or folder where I have my script saved. We have our Python script here as well as two images that I want to display on a tkinter canvas that we will create. Let's go back to our script. At this point, we will import the modules that we'll work with. We will work with tkinter as well as pillow. Now that we are calling the modules, what I want to do next is hop into the code. I am going to start with if name is equal to main. The reason that we want to do this is we want to explicitly call our script up here, and we want to make sure that we're not accidentally executing code from another module or Python script. Next, what I'm going to do is set the dimensions that the application will be displayed as in pixel size. I'll first call the variables and we will call it width and height. I am setting it at 1920 by 1080. This is HD resolution. Next, what I'm going to do is call the TK class. I will save it into a variable called window. To explain this, the TK class is a top-level widget that represents the main window of our application. Next, I am going to title our application. I am going to call window.title to do this. Now we are going to set the application size based on the width and height, and we'll do this by calling window.geometry. And we'll do a little bit of string formatting here, and we want to set the width and height as string types, and we want to place them between the X. That's the format that we'll need to input into window.geometry. Now that we have our actual window created, our application, what we are going to do next is create our canvas. I am going to create a variable called canvas, then we'll call the TK canvas class. For our canvas, it is a class used for placing widgets, drawing graphics, or setting images in our case. First, I am going to specify that we are going to run this in the window here, which is our application. We'll set the width, height, and for the background, I'll set it as white. Finally, I am going to call canvas.pack. What this does is it is a way of wrapping the canvas within our application. Down here, we are going to call window.mainloop. The mainloop method displays the application and responds to any user inputs with our application until the application is terminated. We can run to check that we have set up our application correctly. We can see that we have successfully run it. We can see the title here, image to canvas. We have our application here, and we can see the canvas is highlighted in white. Let's close out of this and go back to our script. Now that we have that set, we are going to create our function, and I am going to call it upload action. We are going to create a try and accept block. The code is, the function will try to upload the image to the canvas. The exception is going to be if the user tries to input a non-image file, then they will receive a message from tkinter. We will first work on the try block. I am going to create a variable called image path, and that is going to call on ask open file name. What ask open file name does is it is a tkinter GUI that prompts a user to select a file. In this case, it will prompt our user to select an image file it will return the path for the file, and we'll save that path into image path. Then I am going to read the image path into a pillow image class. I am going to call the image class and I'm going to get the size, specifically the width and the height of the image and save it into two variables. I am dot size calls a tuple that gives the width and the height of the selected image. And we are going to save that into separate variables here. From here, I am going to create an if statement that is going to check if the width or the height is larger than the canvas. Then I am going to create a while loop that is going to incrementally make the image smaller. Specifically, it is going to make the image width and image height smaller. Let's create the while loop. 
what this is doing is it is multiplying the width and the height by 0.99, making it incrementally smaller. Then from here, I am going to call im again. And this time I am going to call im.resize. We have to input it as a tuple. Then after that, I am going to call int, and I am going to make sure that both the image width and height are integers. Then I want to call on a message box that we imported earlier. This message box is going to say, warning, the uploaded image is larger than the canvas. It will be resized. Next, I am going to call image TK, read in our pillow image class. Then from there, I am going to upload it to the canvas using canvas.image and we'll create the image itself. When we create the image, we want to set it on the canvas. It is going to be in the center for me. So I'm going to take the width, height, and divide it by two. Specify that the image is the image that we read in with photo image. Finally, we are going to set the anchor as center. Next, we have our accept block that we will work on. And this accept block will be called if the unidentified image error comes up. And again, this is when a user tries to upload a non-image file to the tkinter application. And we'll just call message box again and say that there's an upload error. And this will display. Then after this, we are going to create a button. In the description below, I created another tutorial that goes over buttons if you want to go over that more in depth. But for now, we are just going to create a single button. I'll call it BTN. We'll call button. We are going to make sure it is in the window application. Within the button, we are going to have text and it is going to say upload image. Finally, we are going to have the command and this is going to call our function. We want to make sure that we call Lambda before we have our command, because if we don't have Lambda there, then it will execute without the button for it being pressed. And we only want the upload action to be called if the user explicitly calls it. Finally, we are going to place our button. I am going to call button.pack, which is going to wrap our button around. Save this. Let's run our script. We have our button. I'm going to call upload. I'm going to try to upload the first image. We can see it's displayed. Now let's try to upload the other image. And we have the warning that the uploaded image is larger than the canvas and it will be resized. We hit okay. And we can see it was displayed. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you found the video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone and happy coding.